Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to Para Philosophidos. Today I'm going to give you the basic battle tutorial for Total War 3 Kingdoms. This is going to include just how to set up a formation, how to move your units, how to attack and how to hopefully win a battle. Anything more you're going to have to wait for additional basic battle tutorials or advanced battle tutorials with uh, tips about tactics and how to successfully pull off tactical uh, strikes and uh, moves with your units. Now, like I said, this is a basic battle tutorial and we're going to start off with just what do we have here. Uh, we have a single battle against the AI. We have an army, he has an army over there. The red here shows us his uh, deployment area and the green here shows us our battle deployment area. But as you can see, there are units that are already outside this deployment area. This is because they have the ability that uh, says guerrilla deployment. This unit can deploy outside of the de deployment zone, but it cannot deploy over this white line because this is where the guerrilla units can deploy and not any closer to the enemy. So you could have a whole army right here already in uh, the sights of the enemy if you use uh, these gorillas like this. But for the sake of argument that you do not have any gorillas, I'm going to use a uh, formation that will start from the, develop, uh, from the deployment zone. So first things first, I move all of these units back so I can actually work with this line here. I always start my battles on deployment line because I want to get as close to the enemy as possible as soon as the battle starts. So first things first, your first line. Your first line is your infantry. Infantry in this case is sword units that I'm going to stretch out here and also there are spear units that I'm going to put on their flanks. This is because enemy usually uses his cavalry at a uh, flank attack and a back attack and almost never at the frontal attack. Therefore, you need your spearmen to be ready to defend your flanks against cavalry. Now that we have this sorted out, we go and find ourselves some heavier infantry. These are the glaive infantry. There are actually two types of infantry here. There's the protectors of heaven and the pearl dragons. The protectors uh, of heaven actually have an additional uh, ability that's called a spear wall with increases their charge resistance, melee vision, and they are uh, excellent against mountain enemies like this. Also, the hold square, but in this one they cannot move. But why is this hold square so good when you have generals? Because you can actually put generals into this square and be able to easily defend your generals. So I dismount my general, uh, in this case the commander and the strategist, and then I place them inside the square, and then I unlock the square and leave these units here. You can see that these units have covered the generals and they're gonna be safely in their um, defensive area right here against any cavalry attacks. Now uh, the infantry is then followed by a line of archers. There's also a unit of crossbowmen in this battle. Now the crossbowmen have long, uh, lower range than uh, the archers. Let me just find the crossbowmen, place them here so you can see. So this is the range of the crossbowmen this is the range of the archers, and this is the range of the special archers, the Annex Dragons. So, in order to uh, rectify the difference of ranges and the ability to use all your units at the same time, you actually have to pull the Annex Dragons back a little bit, take the heavy crossbowmen, put them forward, and then take the regular archers and put them in the middle. This way, you are going to make sure that all of your range units are actually going to be able to attack the enemy at the same time, while uh, no unit is going to be running forward while the other unit is shooting. Now in order to make sure that they stay in this formation, I'm going to toggle the log group. So I'm going to pull the archers back a little bit, just so that I can see if I have set up this infantry core uh, uh, as I plan to. This is all okay. Now I just select all of these units by dragging the square by holding the left mouse key. Hold the control, press 1, and I have this full unit here. Actually, I have one spearman left, which I'm going to use here as a back guard for uh, my generals in case a lot of cavalry comes over here. So I just select them. Again, control 1. They're now going to be deselected and control 1 to go back into formation and toggle the log group. Now I have uh, the core of infantry with generals standing by uh, inside of this formation at control 1, uh, that's actually just 1 when you select it. I have the number 3 for the s units that are the range units and I can set them up nicely in here and as you can see they do have a little bit of an overlap so I'm going to unlock this to be able to move 
these archers a little bit back like this actually a little bit more at this point there we go perfect and now i just lock them back into their formation and at the end we have the cavalry because they don't have a lot of cavalry i'm going to keep it at one flank this is actually dangerous because the enemy can attack you on the other flank with all of his cavalry if he has them on the other side or he can attack you on uh, with half of his cavalry on one side and you have already cavalry on the other side but this goes both ways if he has uh, divided his cavalry i can destroy his cavalry on one flank and uh, attack him on that flank or the back because i have uh, a larger numbers on my side i've set up uh, this mountain uh, saber militia and the uh, general sentinel and his uh, bodyguards in the front because they have the higher melee toughness compared to the uh, halberd alliances back here so this is my group three uh, actually uh, it's a group two so group two group three group one all right so let's start this battle up as we move on towards the enemy we need to keep track of uh, how our units are getting there. At the moment, they're trying to run there, but that will just tire them out before they are actually getting into battle range. So you need to turn run, uh, running off by pressing the R on your keyboard. It's R by default. If you change it, then you have to press something else. You don't wish your units to be running towards the enemy because they're gonna get winded, lose stamina, and then they're going to be less effective fighting. So you need to uh, keep track of whether or not your units are running and when they should be running. So if by default you have the option to run when you right click your units and um, uh, give them a move order, you should make sure to actually uh, get them to uh, walk towards the enemy instead of run towards the enemy. So the formation that the enemy has chosen is pretty much standard, archers in the front, infantry in the back, and then there are these uh, three uh, mounted lancers, and a uh, actually two mounted lancers and a saber militia. Actually it's uh, the same for, uh, battle uh, setup that I have, same units. So this should be uh, interesting to see how uh, the AI fares against me. I think I've set it up to hard or very hard, something like that. I'm not sure is it uh, a high setting, but definitely close to the high setting. So I'm now close enough that his archers may start shooting at me because my archers are getting very close. So I should let my archers get into range as well. He's changing his formation a little bit to answer uh, my cavalry getting over here. Cavalry seems to be running again, which is a big no-no. We do not wish the cavalry either to be tired, because I need those sweet charges that they can give. You can see that his formation of cavalry is uh, just three units in a straight line, while mine are two ranks deep, and you'll soon see why. Now the infantry can slowly get over here. It has a nice place here in the forest to get range resistance, because that way his uh, archers are going to be less effective. But as soon as my units get in there, if a unit is not in there, uh, you'll see the AI targeting the unit that's not inside. But that is why you have the loose formation, which uh, reduces the charge resistance, but is going to uh, reduce the amount of arrows that can hit your units. You can see he is now starting to shoot with his um, left unit and I'm going into loose formation in order to avoid getting shot. Now which unit am I going to choose to shoot at? It's the militia because they are the weakest unit but I have to turn off this now because if I leave it on they're not going to be able to uh, fight effectively so once you reach your enemy you actually have to stop uh, being locked in. The cavalry now needs to jump into battle as well. As the infantry is getting closer I'm going to turn off the loose mode and go back uh, to the uh, mode. Now you can see he's using that as well and I'm changing which unit I'm attacking in order to be able to fight him properly. Okay, you're getting there. The battle's starting. Cavalry is almost there. Charge. Okay, he's going to choose to attack those units. I'll have to move my spearmen to help and he's left my cavalry wi space wide open to attack him in the back that's excellent just need to make sure what are my arch shooting at protects us of heaven okay change that need to protect the middle 
and the cavalry should have a clear way to the archers now. Okay, you guys over there, you guys continue over there, you guys take care of his cavalry, and I think one of my cavalry units got stuck, and one is actually in the midst of a battle, which isn't good. Okay, let's go, move, 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 straight in the back. These guys have attacked his generals, need to change the target of these units again. These guys are holding, the center is in a big battle. Okay, he should be routing now, yes he is. These guys have won, but he still has a unit over here, which may attack me. Uh, I have to make sure that my units don't get attacked by cavalry in the back. Okay, that's good. This unit of cavalry is saved and it can be uh, resent into battle. Just make sure to have a proper target. These guys have spent enough time over here, they should do a back attack and I need them to attack over here. Come, come, come. Protect us of heaven in the back. Well, this unit is going to keep the pressure on his generals. Now my two generals uh, are going to have to join this battle and try to destroy these protectors of heaven as soon as possible. I'm going to stop shooting them with the archers and shoot over here in this blob. Okay, the cavalry has done its job. Hammer and anvil. anvil. The anvil are the infantry and the hammer are the cavalry units. Okay, so far so good. Uh, this cavalry unit is going for my archers. It's being chased. I need to turn off uh, the skirmish mode because my archers need to keep shooting and not running away from a single broken cavalry unit. Uh, I seem to have managed to break his center and I just need to mop up his archers with my cavalry while my spear units can go and attack the rest of his infantry units because I've almost lost on this left flank. My units are regrouping. I need to keep shooting at that blob while you see his cavalry is starting uh, to attack my archers, uh, my crossbowmen, but I need to attack them. Okay, where is my cavalry attacking? Still fighting these with the generals. The infantry blob needs help. We need to kill the portal dragons with the archers. The militia is fighting this cave unit, that's good. The battle over here, we have got cavalry fighting the sabers, but I need this cavalry unit and the portal dragons are gonna have to hold on here by their own lonesome. This unit will have to move, uh, he still has archers which I need to take out. The archer militia needs to be sent off. Come on general, come over here, you need to save our butts. Ah damn it, he's broken my infantry. Why are my archers running for... They must have run out of ammo, right. Okay, so they are now melee fighters. Yep, they ran out of ammunition, so they are now in melee mode. These guys still have ammo. They're shooting at the pearl dragons. Uh, and we still haven't finished off these guys here. We have pearl dragons and protectors of seven attacking them, but we still haven't killed the Saber Militia. We needed a uh, cavalry attack to finish them off, but uh, I haven't done that yet. I need to take these guys. <laughs> and now the archers seem to have managed to route the enemy center, which is excellent. He was already uh, badly damaged in the center. And now I think this is pretty much a full route. Yeah, this is a full route. Still have lots of units able to fight. And his general is making a last stand. Okay, let's see how that turns out for him. Yeah, that's not gonna turn out well for him. Need to stop shooting at my own units. Actually... Alright, was that the last of him? I think that was the last of him. Yep, just his general remaining. He's soon going to lose. The bows <laughs> arrived in mass.
and that's just one unit left still trying to fight and that would be it victory well i hope uh, that i've managed to show you uh, a lot of how to fight a battle i probably didn't <laughs> do it perfectly as i planned but uh, no plan leaves meeting with the enemy thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for more videos